Alvaro Ramona Levine and Taylor Michael Mumpson. Hey, what's up? How you guys been? It's been a long time. No talk to Linda Johnston. Taylor Michael Mumpson of the Pretty Reckless. Didn't think that I'd figure that out, did ya? Yeah, you know I like vampires. So, you dressed up like a vampire. You owned me as fledgling, and you were my sire. I need a, I need a new sire. She asked to be a female. Because male sires are too brutal on their fledglings. So I need a new sire. I need somebody who will be stern, but somebody who will be gentle. Someone who will say, no, I'm not taking you to the store today, maybe tomorrow. I need somebody, not somebody that'll say, crawl to the store. You know, not somebody that'll do that. Somebody that'll roll me around in a nice fancy vehicle. By fancy, I'm talking a white Lexus with dark tinted windows, Dodge Viper, you know, Dodge Viper would be the best vehicle, pink with two purple stripes down the center of it, uh, chromed out wheels, dark tinted windows, or yellow and black, yellow with two black stripes, something flashy. Something with class. If you really want me. You know, because I feel, I feel all alone right now. I feel like I have nobody. And the feeling is horrible. Um, Charity Molosh of OTEP. There was a reason why I considered you a boyfriend. There was a reason for that. The reason was, so that way I never felt alone. It was totally platonic. But you told me Eagle cigarettes were about $30 a pack. You just want me to quit smoking be, because of your own personal, your own personal reasons. I mean, why quit smoking? You know, ask, that's a good idea. Ask Cherry Molosh how to handle me. She knows how to handle me best. She's the best one. Her, Linda Johnson, don't talk to Autumn Fiore. She doesn't know what the hell she's doing with her clients. But, you know, Charity Molosh, I'm really sorry about about not listening to you. And Linda Johnston, I really appreciate you, you know, coming out and seeing me from the pretty re from the pretty reckless. And I know that your hus or that your boyfriend is a cop, you know. And we all know where that leads. <laughs> Especially when when I have a social worker that's got me as a crime victim and <laughs> and it's based on a police assault. You know. Um, yeah. Police did no-no to me when I was like a year old. And Linda Johnson... Linda Johnson's collecting all the evidence with Banco, Tucker. <laughs> don't think I don't know what you guys are doing. You guys are helping me. And you're helping yourself at the same time because it takes, takes my testimony in a court of law. It takes my testimony in a court of law to get you guys a million dollars. Then we're starting... A clean Hollywood. No more of this porn shit. 
in our Hollywood. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can ask the old resident Lewis um, from, or the old manager Lewis from, um, from Sober Solutions who moved to a different location about how aggressive or gentle I am. And when he realized how gel delicate and gentle I am, he goes, fuck. Because he thought he was going to lure me into a trap, rape me, and kill me. And let me tell you what, uh, yeah, I couldn't handle half of his index finger. And it was painful. At first, and then it was like, it was like a first time experience, so to speak. So, I just want to put that out there. You have to be gentle with me. You cannot be rough with me. You can't be hurting me. You can't be violent towards me. You can't be, um... No sudden movements towards me. Um, I switched to, um, I'll show you what I'm doing. I switched to this. It's, um, triple berry ice. Has a nice smell to it. And the other, the other thing that I do is these pack of camel number nines. Notice it's pink and black with white. Pink, white, black, dolls, angels. Dolls, angels was a club that formed through Carol Ann Fox back in the 1990s. And, well, early 2000s, so to speak. And Maria Brink was involved in it. Uh, her name is Michelle Branneman, Maria Brink. Um, her daughter, who is my first boyfriend. Um, and let me tell you about our romantic uh, deals. Uh, it was... Hey, let me come over and spend time. Let's go ride bikes together. Uh, those were our romantic times. Riding bikes together. Like, not dirt bikes, but like BMX bicycles. I had a, I had a green, black Huffy. And there was this hill located near my mom's house. Located near my mom's house. Up at the top of 66th and South Wapato Street. And we used to fly down that hill. You know, she would go, she would go ten times harder and faster than I did. Because she had to protect me. Um, and anyways, that's what I wanted to say. So, there was no, you know, intercourse or sexual or romantic relations between me and her. It's always been platonic, but if you want to enter back into my life, you're more than welcome to. We'll hang out. We'll get to know each other. This goes for everybody. Like, it's going to be a black wedding, but we get to know each other. So, get to know me on a personal level. I'm really nice. Thanks.